Tobytown. Lionel Gamlin reporting. Large crowds had already collected at Hyde Park Corner when Princess Elizabeth arrived to unveil new plaques on the Royal Artillery Memorial. She was greeted by the Master Gunner, Field Marshal Viscount Allenbrook, and drawn up in welcome were many veterans of the Royal Artillery, men of both world wars who need no memorials to remind them or us of their great service. The plaques which the Princess was to unveil were but a token of the total memorial fund, and some £298,000 is to be used to provide houses for the regiment's disabled and war widows. To the present and future generations of the Royal Regiment of Artillery, I say, we will remember them. There was complete silence as Princess Elizabeth crossed to the memorial to unveil the commemorative tablets. And in honoured memory of the officers and men of the Royal Regiment of Artillery, who gave their lives in the 1939-1945 World War. Then came the regiment's own tribute to the fallen, a gun carriage of the King's Troop Royal Horse Artillery bearing a wreath in proud remembrance of our honoured dead. Master Gunner, on behalf of all ranks, laid it on the memorial, and the simple but moving ceremony was over. Dinner at the Elysee Palace.